Focus629 here, and welcome to episode 15. In this episode, we are going to learn how to make a settings manager class, and basically, this will allow you to access the configuration file from any other class. When you start coding these big plugins that have a ton of classes, this will come in handy. Uh, you know, right now, you just have, you can only access your configuration in this announcer class, but we're going to change that. And uh, guest starring today is Leno649. That's my Minecraft name. You can just call me Luke. Or Luke. And he's in Steve vs. Wild, but he's just going to be watching me from, code. From Tube. Yeah. Check out my channel, please! Okay, so first, Here, going I'll give to you my plugger. Settings Manager. We're going to create a new class called Wee. Settings Manager. And Oops, we're going to type private settings manager. Hey, I have an idea. If no. I'm confused and you have to explain it to me, if I can understand it, everyone else in the entire world can understand it. Fine. Because I'm incredibly dumb. Okay, static settings manager instance equals new settings manager and What's like settings that. Manager? Hang on, I'm going to explain this on a second. Public sure. static static settings manager get instance return instance now what we've just done is this private settings manager line what that means is this class that you can't make a new instance of this class because if you made a new instance or like a new copy of the settings manager class every time then you would have multiple configuration objects so we're making sure that you can that you can never make a new one you can you can never get a new instance then what we're doing here is we're making an instance of this class you can make an instance of of a class in itself when it's private but otherwise you can't and then this line get instance will return this instance of settings manager so this makes you so that you can only have one instance of the settings manager class and this is how you get access to this class so now we can do our so basically coding. you can only have one of them and you can never have more than one you can only have one settings manager class so that you can only have so that there's only one configuration That's object confusing. and that'll make more sense in a second so now it's we can public confused. void setup sorry setup plugin P and um oops right here you're is gonna want to type you plugin P. Is this from Minecraft or something? Yeah, it's a bucket plugin. All right, so oh, go ahead and darned. import that. And now this is what we're going to set everything up. So we're also doing a file configuration config and file C file just like we did before and import that. So now we're going to say config equals p dot get config. Okay, C file equals new file, sorry, p dot get data folder, comma, um, config dot yml. You're a fast typer. And then we're going to be, we're going to do save config, oh yeah, we're going to say right here config dot options dot, sorry, dot, ah, dot, copy defaults true and save config right there. And now you'll notice a red line under save config, and that's because we haven't made that method yet. So we're going to make that right now. First, why don't you explain what the stuff does? Okay. Just to make it more. So we are getting, we are creating this configuration object, and we're we're you know saying that it, that this configuration object is the configuration file of this plugin because this is, um, you know, setting it up. So in the main file, we're going to run this setup. Uh, so, you know, it'll set everything up. Then it's copying the default configuration. It's, like, generating the file. It's going to save that configuration. And then it's setting up this file right here to be, um, you know, the data, the, you know, the data folder, which is, you know, under plugins. And then you have your name of your plugin and then your configuration file. So public void get config return config. Now, all that's doing... Oops, that's a file configuration. File can configuration get config, and basically that's just giving you access to the configuration object. Now public void save config. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try right here config dot save 
C file. But you'll notice that there's a red line under here because um, it, there's a chance that it might not work. So you're going to want to surround it with a try and catch and so that it'll try to do this and then it might and it'll handle it get the exception and then we're going to say bucket dot get server dot get uh, logger dot severe check color dot red plus could not create config dot yml because problem happened and configuration could not be um, sorry save save configuration um, and now now that you have access to this plugin class, you can do other things like public, um, what is it, plugin, file, description, description, get description, and then you can say return p dot get description. I probably spelled that wrong. Let's go ahead. What is it? It's can a. You just use spell check. Yeah, what is it? A plugin. P. Oh, plugin description file, that's right. That's swell. Plugin description file description. And then return p dot get description. So this just allows you to get that um, plugin.yml. So if you wanted to get like the version of the plugin, then you know you could use the get desk and you know whatever. So now in here we are going to remove all of this stuff. And we're going to say settings manager dot get in sorry settings manager dot get instance dot set up this because remember this class is is a plugin class so we're setting up this settings manager so we're doing settings manager dot get instance so now we have an instance of this class and one thing I'm going to advise is right up here settings manager settings equals settings manager Right, manager dot get instance. So now instead of having to type settings manager dot get instance all the time, you can just type settings dot whatever. And then this is going to be settings dot get config. And then again right here. Oh yeah, we need to have the reload as well. That's what I forgot. Public void oh, reload config. And then config dot Sorry, config equals yml configuration dot load configuration from c file and again okay that's fine so then we're just going to say settings dot reload config and let's go ahead and remove those imports that we don't need so that should be a working settings manager class. So let's go ahead and make sure that it works. Um, announcer, okay. And now let's go to our coding tutorial. And one other thing, since the last video, the version of Bucket has changed. There is now a release version for 1.4.7. So before you continue, you're going to want to download that so that you can, um, you know, always stay up to date. So let's see if there's any problems. Ah, looks like there is a problem. Let's see. File cannot be null. Ah, I see. Okay, so... Oh, okay. The reason why is because we tried to save the configuration, and we're saving it to this file, but we didn't tell it what the file was yet. So you just have to move that... You just have to move that above save config, and now if we go ahead and reload, then it will work. And now as you can see, it still says this is a test, and it will continue to say it, and again, ANN reload, that will still work, it will still reload it. So there you go, guys. That is how to make a settings manager class. Uh, this will come in huge handy when you make large plugins. Uh, so that's all for this time, guys, and see you next time. Bye. Bye.